I can't resist. I'm gonna do one more coding challenge video. First of all, I forgot I had this idea of trying to do the different like polygons for each one of these cells. I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. Um, anyway, uh, I talked about different things you could do, but I just wanna see, I wanna kinda see the numbers. Um, so I'm gonna try to do this in a, uh, just to see how that works. I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna keep everything just black and white, just the pure text. Um, but I'm still gonna draw each character uh, each number one character at a time because that would allow for a lot more possibilities. Obviously, again, if I just want to make a book of all the digits, open up the text file, print, export to PDF, etc. But I'm going to draw each digit one at a time. So let me try to alter this to do that. So a couple things. One is, uh, let me do save as and do pi day six. This is like apparently the sixth thing I've made. I'm going to go back to book of pi. I'm going to ch uh, one million text. I'm going to and then I'm going to load the one million pi file. And I'm going to keep it at 100. I, I should really make oh timeout. Let me make a smaller uh, text file and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I made a smaller file with only 1,000 digits of pi. I think that'll be easier to work with. Let's make it just 10 by 10, so it'll still be a 10-page PDF. I'm gonna get rid of color mode HSB. I don't wanna deal with that. I'm still gonna have this idea of multiple pages. I'm still gonna, and now I'm not gonna draw rectangles anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so first of all, I need to, um, I need to add a background. So I'm gonna make a, a, a white, I'm gonna have, make the background white before I start drawing. Let's go down here and make the background white. Then I'm going to say here, I don't, um, I'm gonna just say fill zero. So every piece of text, and then I'm going to uh, draw the digit at a certain location. I had this from an earlier coding challenge, and I think that's it. This should give me all the digits. So this is weirdly gonna happen pretty fast, but as we're gonna see, I want, I'm gonna need to do some clean, clean up here. So it, it, it did all the pages, and if I go to which one of this? Which book of pi 1000 text? We should see, yeah, there we go. So we can see one, four, one, five. So a couple things. One is I would like to include the, th I'm not gonna worry about the three point. So one thing is I didn't think about the size of the text. Um, now, actually I'm curious here. I think what I wanna do is try to separate the, I should use a fixed width. If I was a, if I was a more careful, I would just use a fixed width font, which was my plan. But I'm actually kinda curious here because in theory, I could change this for loop to be a while loop. And I could say here, float x equals zero, while x is less than width. Um, and then at the end here, I could say x plus equals text width of digit. I think the text line center is gonna give me a little bit of an issue. Why is that not, oh, not digit, text width of that String And actually, if I'm drawing the text, let's just get rid of the idea of digit entirely. So I believe this will actually, mm, let's see what happens. We, won't, we probably won't, get, oh, we don't know how many pages we're going to have. So eventually we're just going to, um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is say, uh, if index, so I'm actually just going to say break, or I'm just going to say, how, how can I get out of both loops right here? I mean, I could say uh, break. because I'm in the wild, like if I ever get to the end of what I have, then I should get, oh, but I, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's use a fixed width font. <laughs> Not the wild, I, I feel like the problem is now I don't know when to go to another page. I'm gonna have to test the why. No, that's fine though, that's fine. No, no, that's still gonna work. It's still gonna go to the next page when I get down. So let's, let's, let's do something. Let's create a variable Boolean finished. This is an awkward way of doing it, but I know it will work equal false. And so here what I want to do is I want to say uh, finished, if I ever get to the end, finished is true. And then I think I could sort of say um, if finished, right, I, will continue get me out of, oh return, I could return, no because I, I could return but I need to, I need to get to this exit and since I'm just in setup yeah, return would be good. So why don't I call this void render book. This is, wor this is gonna be worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna say render book, all the, the loading stuff, and this has to be a global variable now. 
Um, the loading stuff will happen in setup still. Then I'm going to take all of this and put it in render book. Exit, print line finish and exit will not, will be here. Then I'm going to say render book. And all I have to do is not have any of this finish nonsense and just say return. And I don't need all this if finished stuff anymore. The total pages is kind of wrong. Like I don't, but I, but I, I think it's fine. Like this will give me, I, I think it's okay. Like I just need to actually, I think this can be like a while true basically. I can just keep doing new pages, but let's just leave it for right now. Um, so I think what's going, oh, an exit, but I have like the wrong amount of brackets. So render book, do the double loop. Um, oh, this and, oh, oh, oh yeah, this is a while loop, right? And I'm uh, at the end of each, I'm going based on the text width. Then the index is going up. If I get to the end, I'm done. Otherwise, oh, and I'm not finished a page. Oh, there's a missing, this is a missing curly bracket, right? Because the page is done at the end of the, this is the X loop. This is the Y loop. Um, so if I highlight this, it should, that's the X. This is the Y. That's the end of a page. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Oh, and now I need to call. Oh, this should, this, and this should be here. This can be here in setup. And then I want to say, let me just run this. Okay, nothing. Now I'm going to call render book. So hopefully that'll, it'll just go until it runs out of numbers. Finished. How come I didn't see, how come I didn't see multiple pages? Hmm. Well, let's see what I got. Did I get anything in the PDF? Oh. Oh, because it fit in one page. <laughs> it fit in one page. Okay. So it fits in one page because the numbers are all just right next to each other. Uh, okay. Easy, easy, easy. All right. So now let's think about how I'm calculating the width and height. So the number of columns and rows, the, the idea of columns is no longer relevant, right? And the idea of rows is honestly no longer relevant because what I have is I want a font size. So I want a font size, which would be, the, font, the default font size is 12, but let's just set that. So I'm going to set right here, I'm going to say text size 12. And so uh, I'm told, <laughs> Somebody in the chat said this to me earlier that 120% of a text size is the proper like line spacing. So if it's 12 point text, 12 times 1.2, this would be about 14.4 in sort of the line height. So in theory, I should be able to have H be, so the width should be 12, the height should be 14.4. Maybe just round it to 14, but I'll leave it as 14.4. And then, uh, I don't, this total pages thing is nonsense now because I can basically just say, I could just say while true. Like keep doing more pages until you're done. So let's see if this makes sense. Let's see what happens here. Oop. Oh, but I do want to count the number of pages. So I'm going to say int page num equals zero. And I'm going to say page num plus plus, and it's going to tell me when a page is completed. Okay. Page, page num. Okay. Let's run this. Finished. Oh, because it, again, does only needs one page. This is looking pretty good. There's all my digits. <laughs> Let's add the three point, three point one there. Right? Oh, it's kind of cut off at the end there. So let me be, uh, let me make sure it doesn't get cut off at the end. So y, if x is less than, oh, with minus w. With my, because I want to, I want to cut it off before. I could say maybe w divided by 2. But let's, yeah, w divided by 2 would be okay. So let's do that. That should fix that. Finished. And now I have a new, right? That fixed that over on this side. Okay. And by the way, why not make this more like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper? So let's have that be 850, 1150. Okay. Book of pi. Let's go for 1 million. And let's do pi 1 million. Book of pi million 
dash text. Okay, you ready for this? I don't know if it's going to work to go onto a new page, but. It's doing some pages. How many pages is it going to be to have all one million digits? I'll be back. Okay, it completed at page 111. So now we should have, this is the most insane way anybody has ever converted a text file to a PDF. But there's a lot of wonder, wonderful stuff of what I'm doing here. So let's look at this. Book of Pi, one million text. And we can see here, oh, why didn't I get the, oh, I have to do this again. It's bothering me that it doesn't say 3.1 there. But we can see here, look, here's my Book of Pi. I probably have some margins. I should probably be some margins. But here it is, it's 111 pages of all and let's see how big this file is. It's, this, uh, uh, it's a 112 megabyte file, which probably doesn't need to be, because it's just 100 pages of text, but probably in the way that it's rendering it um, is a little bit crazy. So, okay, let's, let's just do one more thing. Let's go for 10 million, and let's add three point there. So we're gonna add the three dot, and we're gonna render 10 million, all right? I'll see you if one, about 1,000 pages. We should be, it should be about 1,000 pages, okay? Here we go, I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm actually stopping rendering that, that, that file that was gonna have 10 million digits in it, because I've noticed that the, the spacing between the numbers, the kerning is off, and actually I've done this before, we're moving by text width, works perfectly. Uh, with, with um, well it doesn't work perfectly, but I, I, I don't have an issue with it, but apparently the way this font is organized, these, the numbers are all, the, all, all, all defined with the same width. So I, I'm, I kind of have done something wrong here. I'm gonna switch to using a monospaced font. <laughs> Why not? So I'm gonna add to the code. I'm gonna just say, uh, right here under render book, I'm gonna say text, I'm gonna say uh, pfont f equals create font. I'll just use courier. I could use courier new, but um, I think I'll just use courier um, and give it a size of 12. And then I'm going to say text font F. Let me switch back to the 1000, um, 1000 file uh, just to test this. Let me run this. It finished, right? One page. Uh, let me look at this now. Uh, 1000. Whoops, no, wrong, One, 10 million text. Whoops, it could not open because it was empty. What did I do wrong? I messed something up. Oh, I forgot exit. Exit needs to be in there. Okay, let's try it again. Finished. Let's open that up. And there, now we can all breathe. Whoops, a sigh of relief. All these numbers are nicely spaced from each other, perfectly in mono spaced, lined up exactly in organized fashion. Actually, this is kind of nice because maybe we'll find some interesting patterns, almost like a, some sort of word search, number search puzzle. Let's look at the, um, uh, it looks like we're, uh, oh, I, I took out, in my investigation of this, I took out the text align center. So uh, let me put that back in, run this one more time. It is now finished. Let me come back over here. Uh, whoa, I, I, um, oh right, I messed up some stuff. I'm say width minus two, x plus width divided by two. I took out some stuff while I was futzing around with trying to figure out the spacing. Finished, and now there we go. So I should add some margins. Let's add some margins. <laughs> Let's say we're gonna start with x at 100 and y at 100. We're gonna go to width minus 100 minus W2 and width and height uh, minus 100. So, okay, so let's make this, let's make this a variable. Int margin equals 100. <laughs> margin, 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 margin. And let's see what that does. And finished. And uh, that's fine, that looks like about an inch, whatever. So now we have our book of pi. Now, here we go. It is time, I'm gonna go back, we're gonna make this book have 10 million digits. And I wanna emphasize that the way that I programmed this, you could render each number individually as 
anything you want because they're all rendered one at a time in processing with any drawing capabilities that you can imagine. Okay, let's go back and say pi 10 million. Okay, I'm really going to run this and I'm really going to be back when it finishes. See you in a minute. Go. Let's just make sure it's going. Okay, I think, I'm assuming it's going to be like well over a thousand pages. See you in a bit. We have now finished at 1,761 pages. I have made a book just for reference. This book is <laughs> 200 pages. This book is 200 pages. And I have now made a book that is 1,700, I mean 600 pages, 661 pages, which in theory has 10 million digits of pi plus the 3.1. So it actually has 10 million and two characters. Now, let's go. Uh, to my uh, folder. It is a two gigabyte file. Let's try Acrobat Reader. Agree? Yeah, I agree. Take my book of pi. Oh, this looks good. Here it is. This is the book of pi. It is two gigabytes. Now, the absurd thing is, once again, is I could have just taken that text file and done print to PDF. But if you wanted to, you could render this and you could have, no, I don't want to look close. I don't want to see any mistakes. Uh, you could, I don't have the page numbers on it. Ugh. I should probably use CSS page media and the whole other way, like span tags. Oh, I'll come back another time <laughs> to do it a different way. So, but again, I could have done the same exact thing, but had these be little blocks of color or anything. So I will just do, to finish off this video, oh, I made it go upside down. I will read to you from page, what page am I on? <clears throat> I will read to you some, wow, why is the spacing off? Oh, because I have the center thing again. I text align center. I need to text align left. I can't do it again. Ah, I forgot to add page numbers. Uh, Chrome can open PDFs. That's a, all right, I, I, I'm sorry that the spacing is off. It really bothers me but we'll just have to go on. I will read you a little bit of it and this video will fade away. 6885114506491315186155 Then there's some other digits. 4 3 the mouse is really in an awkward place. 0313190500 Six, two, seven, one.